As COVID-19 cases spike across the state, many communities are taking action to prevent the spread. KX News sat down with the tribal chairman of the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa, to, which has enacted two executive orders and closed a major business in order to protect its residents. It was just really important that tribal government kind of stood up and said, you know, we have to kind of take control of our own situation. As of November 3rd, two executive orders were signed by the Tribal Council on the Turtle Mountain Reservation. An amended mask mandate, which was initially put into place in July, along with a curfew. We did really, really well when it began. As time has gone by, I think people just become comfortable, they become a little bit too lax, myself included. The initial mask mandate was only for employees working with the public in tribal buildings. Now the amendment applies to all businesses on the reservation and their employees, along with social distancing measures and a 50% capacity reduction. We believe by limiting access from the public, um, keeping people from congregating into, into crowds or into public buildings, that it will mitigate and kind of flatten out that spike that we've been seeing here in the Turtle Mountains. And yes, there is penalty for not obeying the executive orders. Azure calls it a three-strike process, which can range from a citation to a $250 fine. You know, maybe a warning here or two, and then people will, you know, start realizing that this is serious, you know, and, you know, we need to get back to where how what we were doing when we were doing so well. A big piece of revenue, the Skydancer Casino, is closed until November 11th. Azure says the decision was tough as the tribe can maintain its revenue without the casino, but is also trying to keep the safety of over 300 employees in mind. The summer, it was a little bit easier to make those decisions when there were uh, extra benefits through unemployment. But now that unemployment is running out and our harsh environment that we live in with heating bills coming in and there's a lot of factors in, in uh, making those decisions. Overall, Azure says the goal of the orders is to help flatten the spike and will change accordingly. We really want to stress to the public that the Turtle Mountains and even the, the uh, townships surrounding us is that, you know, these are basically strategic plans that are always evolving. Reporting in Belcourt for KX News, Taylor Rosari. The Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa is hosting weekly community testing sites every Monday as another effort to counteract the rise in COVID-19 cases.